if America was meant to be a Christian nation by the founders, they would make the Bible and the Constitution one and the same. They would not just have included a few references of scripture in the Constitution. There would be no argument at all regarding the separation of church and state because the two would be one. In fact, the United States Constitution is a wholly secular document. It contains no mention of Christianity or Jesus Christ. In fact, the Constitution refers to religion only twice in the First Amendment, which bars laws respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. And in Article 6, which prohibits religious tests for public office. So both of these provisions are evidence that the country was not founded as an officially, excuse me, as an officially Christian nation. The First Amendment to the United States Constitution declares that Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof. The Founding Fathers did not create a secular government because they disliked religion. They did so because they were actually fleeing from religious persecution. Many were believers themselves, yet they had studied and even seen firsthand religious wars and persecutions in Europe. Some colonies had officially established churches and taxed all the citizens to support them, whether they were members or not. Some limited public officials and public office to Christians and dissenters faced imprisonment, torture, and even death. Respect for religious diversity gradually became the norm. 